Hello! Happy Tuesday. Welcome Hi. to the Top Gun Maverick DLC for Microsoft Flight Sim. I'm very excited about this. Uh, <laughs> I can because tell. I love the film Top Gun and the new one. Top I Gun goes Maverick. to the cinema one time and sees Top Gun Maverick. And now, and now we can't get can him out of his aviator shades. <laughs> yes. Day or night. I've got my I've got my aviator shades. I've got my <laughs> I've got my hot ass. I've got my hot ass, Jane. My th yeah, always. My Thrustmaster hot ass. Um, show me. Oh, you can't. Can you show the camera? Your there hot you ass. Go. There's my. There go. There's my hot ass. My hand, hands on throttle and stick is obviously. Hands what I'm on about. throttle and oh, I, yeah. so it's more like hot as than hot yeah, ass. Yeah, hot as. Yeah, hot if ass. If you like. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to need it because apparently flying these things is a real bloody nightmare. There I was, was reading. I was reading about the DLC, and you're going to be doing um, all sorts. Low altitude, high speed maneuvers. Yeah. Carrier flying deck to, landings. Flying into fly the stratosphere. Into the stratosphere, right off to space. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna fly us to space. You're you're gonna be the goose to my maverick. Is that okay? <laughs> uh, yeah. If goose was sort of sitting in front of a green screen, <laughs> yeah. saying things about exactly. mavericks flying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Backseat, backseat, literally backseat. Hi, flies. chat. How are you? I'm I'm watching the chat on YouTube and in Discord. Nice. So um, so say hi, hi everyone. Cool. Welcome. Ugly little spud says. Oh wait. You're I'm you're you're I've got a lady telling me to... Diana Dreyer is talking to you. Yeah, she is, yeah. So this is just the very first bit of training, right? So this I've already... classic had... Mike not listening to the <laughs> flight instructions. I already had a quick go at this one, so it's fine. But basically, uh, yeah, carry on, because I'm just going to do a bit, a little bit of practice flying while you're... While you're okay, all right, Mike's going to warm up while we look at the chat. Ugly yeah. Little Spud says, tempted to buy Flight Sim because of this DLC. Please don't mention any story spoilers for those who haven't seen the new film. I won't. Yeah, all right, so no story spoilers, Mike. No spoilers, but my review is it's great. It's really <laughs> there are planes, that's not a spoiler. There are planes, they yeah. go fast. They do, they go fast, yeah. Um, so this is like a little practice takeoff. This is the easy bit, really. So you just okay. increase your throttle. Yeah, this isn't very top gunning. This and is then you let go. Basic gunning. Yeah, this is ba basic. This is the bit I can do. It's the landing I have a problem with. Okay. Remain on the center line. And then I've got like, so you see where it says raise the finger lifts? That's really burying the lead because raising the finger lifts actually means putting your afterburners on. So oh. I'm going to oh, do that okay. in a second. Okay, yeah. There you Afterburner go. does sound a lot cooler than finger lift. It does, doesn't it? There you go. And I've got to take off. By using your joystick axis three. Okay. All right, well done. Gear up by pressing B. You're in the air. Okay, You're a basic gun. Yeah, I'm, I'm the. Tom Titherington says hi, Mike. Can't stay, but take this for being awesome. Top gun it. Oh, thank you. Okay, I've got to, got to maintain a 45 degree pitch. This is the problem with being a maverick like me, who uh -huh. has a problem with authority, is uh -huh. that all of flying is about rules and doing things properly. Yeah, it is. Which I, I, is my, I have a problem with that. Not too much room for like loosey goosey jazz improvisation <laughs> Not really, in the no. skies. No, particularly when you're like sitting on basically like you're strapped to a bomb full of kerosene. Right. There we go. Now oh. that. See? Oh, okay. It all went black. You blacked out. See? And they brought you home. What did I do wrong? I don't know. You tell me you're the top gun. You're the <laughs> aspiring top <laughs> Apparently gun. Apparently my takeoff was bad and my unrestricted climb was bad. Okay. Dream in Discord says, oh, I say we're treated to PC gameplay. Are you playing on Xbox no, or on I'm PC? No, I'm playing on Xbox. No, this on is Xbox. Xbox. This is Xbox gameplay, everybody. Yeah, uh, right. So having having nailed the, that stuff, I think we should go straight on to the challenges, right? Right, so, yeah, obviously Microsoft Flight Simulator came out in 2020. This is the Top Gun Maverick expansion, mm -hmm. and it comes with, like, a livery, like yeah. a Top Gun livery for your Super Hornet. You can Hornet. see it up on the top right of the screen there. Okay. Will you only be flying the Super Hornet today? Yeah, I think that's, that's the only... Your, oh, that's well, oh, no, no, no. Plane. Of course, the Dark Star. The Dark Star. Okay, right, for space. The, for when we go to space. That'll yeah, be your for, treat yeah, at the end of the stream. <laughs> uh, I, let's try this lake. Let's try this lake challenge, right? Okay. We've got to fly low altitude. Low level flying. Maintain low altitude to score high. Well, that's mm. all right. It's a lake. It's flat. Yeah. You just stay There's above the lake, into. which is flat. Now, what I've learned having <laughs> played about with this, this flight controller... Okay. Uh, is that flying a plane is uh, the the closest thing I can liken it to is like it's like texting while you're driving, but mm. also the texting is the driving. Okay, it's and you're very, also you're doing confusing. like three times the yeah, speed of exactly. sound. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and sounds safe. It. Sounds good. But this. Thanks this for the be... gif in Discord, Madness in Living <laughs> Color. You've just oh, we're getting getting all the Top Gun gifts. I'm going to start watching the stream and just look at the Top Gun gifts now. Fine. Just all yeah, fine vintage money. Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh, and an Archer one. An Archer gif of oh, Archer nice. saying Danger Zone. We are in yeah. the Danger Zone now. Yeah. So is this a new hot ass you've got? 
Uh, it's relatively new. It's like an Xbox One one. Yeah. Okay. It, I think it came out a while ago. But okay. Okay. It's pretty pretty good for this sort of thing. Oh gosh. Am I low enough? Does that look low? I mean, that feels low. How low do low. you need to be? I don't I know. Hope, I hope you were listening to the instructions. Okay, but there are some trees coming up. I'm gonna have we to go. We just want you to skim the water. Oh, oh gosh. Right. Okay. All I'm right. going over the trees. Climb, climb, climb. over the trees. Okay. Please. I climbed over the trees. Okay. Now what? Okay. I'm turning. I'm rolling. I'm. Th let's pretend I did that on purpose. I and assumed you did. Now what? Back, back. I need, oh. Well, we're meant to be doing high speed, low altitude. So get yeah. as low and as fast as you possibly right, can. Okay. I'm going to brush the wingtips in the water. How about that? Yeah, try. Okay. Try that. Oh, minus 71,000 points. That seems like a lot of points to lose. Okay. Is that for touching the lake? No, I think that's for not get, not being low enough. Not being low enough. All right. All right okay, hold on. But the problem is all these mountains in the way. Okay. Okay, I'm going to slow Imagine down. Imagine you're being chased by an enemy jet, if right, that helps. Okay. Yeah, you I'm, can role play it as an actual fight. I'm visualizing that. I only lost 44,000 points in this one. Yeah. So, at what point do you get to launch missiles? Oh, there's no missiles in this game, Jane. It's, well, it's, then you're not a fighter pilot, you're just a pilot. Yeah, but this is a, this is a game for pacifists. Peaceful people. Yeah, p peaceful pilots. Peaceful pilots who also can want to pretend to be top guns. On. Yeah, go on then, do there your finger go. lifts. I've done my finger lifts. Okay. I mean that's quite close, but then I have to be. Maybe I'm supposed to be going along the along the the lake bit or something. Well, maybe next time we'll listen to the briefing no, more never. closely. No, I'm a maverick, Jane. I don't listen to briefings. Right, I see. I just, I, you know, I I buzz the tower like a cool guy. Um, I don't I don't do briefings. Come on, let's go down. There we go. I wonder if I can can I look at outside the plane? How do I do that? Nope. Oh, I've stuck it in cursor view. Oh yeah, it oh. might help to have a different perspective, not the um, yeah. first person cockpit Let's see view. If I can... Oh, there we go. Look there you go. That helps. Are my afterburners on? They don't look very on. They don't look on. No. But here we go. Look. Now I can see how low I'm getting. Unfortunately, real pilots don't have chase cam. But this looks <laughs> low, right? This is low. Yeah. You're basically chopping the tops off those trees. Oh yeah. Look, I'm I'm totally Tom Cruise. Look at this. Wee. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, oh, no, I'm in a whoa. that doesn't look very Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh, I nearly killed a goose. I nearly killed a <laughs> goose just then. Keith Hall says, have to work, so can't watch just now. Uh, just wanted to say I got my dream job working at a new marijuana dispensary in my state. Nice. Thanks for keeping my spirits up while I'm sorting myself out. Love you guys. Oh, Keith, congratulations on it, your dream job. Is it a dream job because of the free samples? I... It doesn't say. Mm. I don't. Maybe it's a really great dispensary. Oh no! Oh Jane! Oh. Oh no! It all I went black. I stalled. Back mm. on track. Back on track. Now. All right. Get us a new Tom. I'm Cruise. in a ghost plane. I'm like literal Ghost Rider. Okay. This, this is fine. It's a little harder to steer from this perspective, I think. But yeah. Look at that. A little bit of wobbling there. Better look, for the folks at home, though. Yeah. It's always oh, a lot better to look at. Yeah. Hundred percent. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh, look at that! Thing. Look at all that stuff that's going on. Jane, you're a physicist. What the hell's going on to my? What's going on with my plane? Uh, contrails probably. I okay. Don't know. I did a little. I did a little barrel roll. There we go. Very nice. Okay. It's important to do barrel rolls to uh, to confuse your enemies. Yeah, exactly. It throws them off. It it breaks radar. It um, increases stealth. Okay. Now down, plunge down into the valley. Right. 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 Yeah, then... directly at the mountain. And then up, and then pull up, pull up. Of course, pull up, this is pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. nose up, nose up. Oh, oh. just I nearly survived. Blacked out there. Yeah, I really did. I was pulling massive G's. So many G's. So many G's. Okay, fine. I'm, I've ended up really high up now though because yeah, I pulled yeah, so many G's. Yeah, you need to be lower. I feel like you need okay. to be lower to the ground. So of course, the all these fancy low low altitude maneuvers would help to evade yeah, your so, chasing enemy. Well, it's to stay below radar, right? That's the main ah, thing, isn't it? So oh, okay. You right. want to stay really low to avoid... Can they not make radar that goes down all the way down to the ground? No, then? I think it gets confused. If, it, if you start getting trees and stuff going on, it gets confused, <laughs> maybe. Right, right, right. Oh, so I'll just think you're a really fast moving tree if you can stay close enough to the ground. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like... It's just, just fast moving foliage. <laughs> oh, okay. It is kind of fun though, flying this thing around. It's a lot, a lot more fun from this perspective. Fox PC says, should he not be following the lake and staying very close to the ground? That's what happened in the movie. Yeah, all right. Well, we can't all be Top Guns. Well, yeah, but you want to be Top Guns. I'm trying. 
Oh, I completed you did it. it. You completed the low altitude C. challenge. C is a C. passing grade. Okay. Oh okay. no, look, friends on my friends list have done better than me. Martin, Mr. Martin did much, much better that's, than you. That's Martin Robinson, editor Martin of Eurogamer. Martin Robinson of Eurogamer fame. <laughs> he's uh, he's got a score of like a, a million. Grade. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh. He's the real top gun around here. I'm going to have to text him <laughs> and, and say I'll be goose. Right, okay, look, there's the route. <laughs> there's the there's route, the route you were meant to be right, doing. Right, okay, so we've... we've Following learned. the lake. I I just was going as the as the fighter jet as the, flies. As the crow flies, yeah, as... but you're meant to be doing low altitude flying over the lake. All right. You were very right, chat. Well, I'll give it one more go, and I'll try give and stay near the lake. Okay, Okay. Like welcome that. to the channel, Simon McBride, new member of Oxbox. Angel Beat says, maybe the real danger zone is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> the dangerous and, friends we uh, made along the way. Michael Lindell says, I can't wait for Top Gun Tree. I thought being a fighter pilot would be straightforward and that pretty much anyone could do it. Accessible. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's what they've always said about the career path to <laughs> yeah, exactly. fighter pilot. It requires okay. basic standard reflexes. and Okay. You know, so we're going to get your belly nice and low to this lake. Yeah, okay. That and good. we're going to keep it there and follow the water. Okay, all right. Simply okay. follow the water. I shall simply follow the water. Okay. Maybe if you want to dunk your belly in the lake, that would also be fine. All right, to cool off to cool off right because uh, otherwise the fuselage will get too hot or something that's probably science right oh. Simon McBride new member of the channel says finally joined up as a member but unfortunately can't stay I'm in the work zone which is infinitely worse than the danger zone oh no good luck Mike zone. and hi Jane too <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. highway to the work zone oh. good luck Simon highway to the work zone is just your commute right for me it's the <laughs> it's the path between the sofa and the desk in yeah, the other room yeah that's true or bed and the desk yeah if you're having yeah, a particularly yeah. lazy morning yeah, right, so I'm yeah. supposed to be going this way, presumably. Uh, yeah, I follow the lake around. Well, I've been sleeping on the sofa, Mike, so... Uh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's just a pass <laughs> back true. and forth to my desk and my sofa at the moment. All right. <sighs> okay, here we go. This is where I'm supposed to go, isn't it? Yeah, down this valley. This is much more dramatic. I get it. Oh, Nathaniel Zaniga in the, ch in the chat says the radult is for how high off the ground. Right, okay. I spent hours every day working on these jets, so wow. they should know. Nathaniel should know. Okay, well, how am I doing, Nathaniel? Would so you, keep would you give me a job? Would you give me a job? I don't know if Nathaniel is in a position to give you a job as Top Gun. No, well, possibly not. Well, I don't know, okay, maybe. Okay, but you're doing better than your ghost, your stupid ghost over there. Well, my ghost is miles away, but really high up, yeah. But your ghost is very high, so... I'm having go. to deal with greater wind resistance because I'm lower down and the air is more dense, right? That's why my ghost is going faster, but higher, right? That makes sense. Sure. That's just physics. That's just physics. All right, I'm following the river. Am I supposed to continue to follow the river? Yeah. Uh, is it left or right at the next big hill? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, it feels like it's round here, doesn't it? Maybe. You should. Yeah, there should be some waypoints for you, really. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. This is the this is the real top. Section stuff. six. Here we are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it when it does that stuff. Oh, I'm blacking out. Too many G's. All right. Here we go. The music's not very like exciting for all the exciting no, stuff. No, but doing. that's sort of flight simulator for you, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite they, serene. They need to license Kenny Loggins. That's they, they really do. do. I want to hear nothing but Kenny Loggins. Yeah. Or a close, copyright-free, adjacent Kenny Loggins tune. Let me tell you, Jane, the film is really good. Like, I know you like the film. It's, <laughs> it's not. It's not. A, it's not a spoiler to say that. Like, it makes the original look really pony now. Like, I went back wow. and looked some. Looked, it's fighting talk. Yeah, I went back and looked at some of the like the mid-air combat footage from the first film, and the new one because they shot it all in actual jets and they had the actors yes. like stuck up there. You sure. know, um, it yeah. just it makes the uh, makes the original film look rubbish, basically. Yeah. Okay. What? I've I've lost the route, but it's fine. I, I think... know how much Mike enjoyed the film because we've all had a really busy day here <laughs> at uh, outside Xbox, but Mike yeah. made time. Yeah, I made, made time, time to play the Top Gun to stream thing. Flight Simulator for all you folks and for himself. Yes. Because, uh, because Mike's just all hopped up on Top Gear excitement. We've got, we, we, we've got a really, really short week here in the are UK. You gonna go and, are you going to go and watch it again then? Mm, no. Over I, your four-day weekend I don't provided by the Queen? I don't tend to. I don't tend to. Um, rewatch things at the go, cinema. Yeah, rewatch things okay. like in the, in the cinema. But I saw it in IMAX. I could totally recommend seeing it in IMAX. Okay. It's filmed in IMAX and it's exactly the sort of film you okay. want like filling your... But yeah, like Mike says, we've got a really short week here in the UK. We've got a two-day bank holiday. 
uh, thanks, Thursday and Friday, and then the weekend. So yeah, thanks the Queen. Finally doing something for us. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Shannon Bennett's in the chat says, my first ever super chat. Can I please get a birthday wish? Much love from of South course. Africa. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Shannon. Have a lovely Have a day. One, yeah. Have a great time. I hope your birthday wish was to see Mike do some cool <laughs> Was it to see Mike if fly it wasn't, a fighter jet in well, aviator's sunglasses? <laughs> yeah. Or the closest we could find the closest aviator's I could, sunglasses. I could dig out from my selection of old sunglasses. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about my score this time, and I haven't crashed once, which is also You good. haven't, and you've, you've been a lot lower to the ground, so they probably haven't picked you up on radar oh, yet. Oh, no, yeah, no chance. No chance. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're heading into the goal. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Oh, we're only s several clicks out. Right, afterburners. Some number of clicks yeah, out. Yeah, boom. There's the afterburners. There's those afterburners. There they are. Welcome to the channel, Jesse Farrell. This one's for you. Woo. Finish. Yes. Yep. Who is toppest yep, yep, yep. gun? It's me. It's I'm going to say me. grade B. Grade B? Grade A. Grade A. Can't believe, can't believe you downed me, Goose. And most oh, you importantly, overtook, I wrecked, you overtook Martin, I wrecked the editor a game of, of fame. <laughs> you're a gamer. All right. All right. Well, I hope you're watching, Martin. That actually genuinely went better than I thought it would. Like, I mostly followed the route. Well done. When I you did, figured out where you were meant to go, it I took went a much right better. at one point when I wasn't supposed to, but otherwise, ah, pretty good. Classic. Pretty good. Back to the Maverick menu for Mavericks like me. Cool Mavericks. Okay, that was good. That was that was quite good. Um, That's should pretty we go good. for? Let's go for this one because it looks the most. Okay. It's in California, so it looks the most like actual Top Gun, right? You're gonna be dodging around between uh, between mountains. Yeah, yeah. But this okay, one looks good. the most like you know Miramar, wherever the hell that is, near San Diego, I think. Right. I guess. All right, this one I'm gonna try and fire up the afterburners like early. <laughs> See if that works. Out. I want nothing but afterburner. Yeah, afterburner for days. How are the OX Supporters Club folks getting on? Gillen Borum says, go eat a manifold, Martin. Yeah, Martin. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. Sounds bad. Sounds maybe, bad. Maybe that's like pi pilot insult. Oh, look at yeah. me. Look Andy D773 on Discord says, the gauntlet, it has been thrown. Mm. So, Dang right. Look out for Martin coming to take his crown back. What was the button? There we go. That was the button. That was the cool button. What right. was the button? said I, tom cruise whoops. yeah it's like i said it's like texting and driving you're like oh no i pressed i pressed afterburners off instead of on oh on. no back on back on please oh no your finger lifts get your finger lifts I'm on i'm trying Mike. i'm trying okay your ghost is getting away i know chase that ghost you've got to get Maybe after I that ghost and bust it was oh, that it is that all the that's afterburners it, yeah. we brought with us so. okay oh, i'm well, too bad. high as well what's going on with this coastline it looks weird what do you mean? The colour? That sort of like a greenish cyan bit, blue. Yeah. Maybe it's an algae or a mineral deposit or something. I think it's probably just the satellite imagery getting confused. But... Oh, maybe. Okay. Maybe it's that. Alright. That is low. Ah, that is real low. That's extremely low. You just gave someone a haircut. Low. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish I hadn't turned my afterburners off because now I don't so know. So the folks watching at home won't be able to see all of your important flight instruments because my head is in front of them. Honestly, I don't so, think they're that important. I'm, I'm just flying go. on uh, sheer flying instinct. Flying on instinct, yeah. yeah. Sheer yeah. guts and passion. Never look at your instruments. Yeah, exactly. You switch them off like Luke Skywalker. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, this plane. And I that's think why I... like Skywalker is Top Gun. Yeah, exactly. I think I've, people, I think I've stalled. These are people's homes. You just crashed into someone's home. I know, home. I didn't mean to. All right, but my afterburners are back on now, I think. So that's good. Oh. And the military's going to have to compensate that poor homeowner. Yeah. You having landed a super hornet in it. They've got the budget for it. I'm sure they've <laughs> got the budget for it. Okay. It's gone badly so far. I'm not I'm not impressed by my performance. I'm now bottom gun. I'm now no. worst gun. Okay. You're going very, very fast, so you should feel good about that. Yeah. You've got your afterburners on. Okay. See how low we can get. This is all part of the vital Top Gun training that you would get in the Top Gun school. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it's it's tense. It's tense. It's tense. tense. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a sharp turn. It's a sharp turn. Oh, you! Oh, out. you blacked out. Did you black out or did you crash or a little of both? A little of both. Or one, I think, one then the other. One think, then the I other. I think yeah, the one preceded the other. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think I've been fired from Top Gun. I think I don't know. Oh no! I keep oh, blacking no. out. Hit the bricks, no, Top Gun. No, don't put me back there. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Did it checkpoint you? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've killed like about eight gooses now. No. Oh. So many gooses are dead. 
Penguin God Mad says, can you really be a top gun if there are no guns? That's a good question. Top, just top. You just end up top. Okay. I mean, can you get a Super Hornet without guns on it? Is it not, is it not designed to be a, I mean, a fighter yeah. jet? Yes, yes. I mean, but have they decommissioned them for you right now so you can't shoot I, in? I guess. I mean, you can load it up with whatever you like, really, can't you? Or, yeah, of or course. Not, or not. Yeah, popcorn maker if you want. But okay, let's. I imagine the standard loadout involves some sort of military hardware. I didn't All crash right. then. I just you didn't crash. You just out. backed out for a while. <laughs> but I survived. I lived. And, you, and then when you re when you revived, you were like, "Great!" Didn't plow into the side <laughs> of a mountain. Yeah, exactly. Um, let's not tell base about this. <laughs> yeah, the point. I, I've told you the story right about how I've uh, I've experienced like G-related blackout on a roller coaster. On a roller coaster. Right? Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh dear. no. It's oh fine. no. I got it. I saved it. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. All right. Okay. It may I look like I'm out of control. I don't know how you can be talking. <laughs> You're just spiralling. <laughs> and in, in the, the best game. possible way. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it was a uh, roller coaster called, called Goliath in um, Six, Five, Six Flags Magic Mountain in California. California, it's, okay. It, it, it causes you to experience extreme G mm. um, to the point where, yeah. And you blacked out. I, I lost a bit of vision. What a, what a deal. I was still conscious. I never lost consciousness, but all the blood disappeared from my eyeballs and meant I couldn't see anything. Yikes. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. Okay, so you were just blind, but still conscious. Yeah. Yep. Right. Oh, that's gone wrong. That's oh, gone wrong. that's horribly wrong. Yeah. Very badly wrong. I'm pretty sure in the movie they make that look really easy. But... Mm. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Now, it may look like I'm extremely high right now, but I'm, I'm working my way back down. It's, they're difficult to control these things. There we go. Afterburner's back on. Yes, here we go. Right, this is this is what the movie's all about. It's all this like winding around. So the idea is maybe that the radar stuff is up up, up on the mountains, like the the missiles. And oh, stuff. I see. So you're just sort of like below their line yeah. of sight, oh. sort of. <laughs> uh, that's going to win badly, isn't it? Welcome <laughs> it to the really channel, Lachlan Hall, who is a new member no. over on YouTube. Oh dear. Oh dear, I hit that tree. I think I'm nearly. I think I'm nearly at the end. This is one of the more challenging. Um... This is a challenging one. D Lawnrow in the chat says, "Fun fact: I once had Goliath break down on me right before the giant drop, and I was stuck up there for about 20 minutes." Oh gosh. That sounds terrifying. Yeah, it's 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 an alarming height when you're up there. It's well, one of those also, things... in addition to it being a height, you're like, I'm on a thing and it's going wrong. Yeah. Right? It's never a good feeling. Something is broken about this thing. Um, I. Here it is. There's your flare. There's my flare. I finished. There's your checkpoint. Ah, uh, so. Well done. I I think that's probably a C. Let's a C. A B. A B. I'll take it. And I B. Not too bad. I beat and you beat Martin, Mr. Martin. Martin. <laughs> there you go. Uh, he has no idea. He's on holiday right now. He's no uh, idea that he's, he's going to come home and you're going to have smashed all of his Top Gun. Oh, yeah, and it'll be back to work. Shores. It'll be back to work, Martin Robinson. Um, uh, you know, I'll take that. I thought I would performed extremely badly there, but clearly not as badly as I as I thought <laughs> I had. Right now, like a key now? a key part of it is this sort of um, snowy stuff in the movie. It's a lot of snowy stuff, so all I've right. got to do the snowy one as well. Okay, good. Now, shall I have a look Justin at the map? Just do Carnahan. Yes, please. Let's have a look at the map before you start. But first oh. of all, Justin Carnahan says, same thing happened to me on the same ride. I assumed I just have low blood pressure. Blackout Brothers. Blackout Brothers. You have low blood pressure, Mike? Uh, it's it's reasonably low. I think it's okay. not like dangerously low or anything. But <laughs> I don't have, You're like... not prone to blackouts. No, no not really. Okay. Um, but yeah. It... Jen's in the chat asks, what is a bank holiday? It's, um, it's, it's a free a... day off. The day you get off work, I don't know what you'd call it in the states, a public holiday, well, like, I guess. Yeah, like you know how like Memorial Day weekend people have Monday off, right? Yeah, it's in a day where you don't go to work. So, and like no that. one knows what they call it a bank holiday. Because no one, none of the banks are open, maybe. I don't know. No, there's a reason, but no one cares. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here okay, we go. come on then, Mike. Full throttle. Full throttle. Afterburners. Cool, Pink lifts. Cool view. So, what's the objective here? Low, low altitude. Again. Yeah, low. Follow the okay. ghost, I guess. Follow, Follow the ghost. Ghost, ghost is a cool call sign, so uh, it maybe it's a call sign as well as a ghost plane. What, what would your call sign be, Jane, if you were a fighter pilot? Um, Do you want me to tell oh, you some of the ones great... from the movie? Yeah, there's someone called Phoenix, right? Phoenix is the yeah, is the lady fighter pilot. Phoenix is cool. I, uh, I like that one. There's a guy called Fanboy who's Fanboy. Like, yeah, his helmet That's is like not a uh, good call sign. His helmet is like in the Star Trek font. Quite cool. oh, he's a Star Trek fan. Yeah, he he's wanted a... to be a Top Gun, exactly. and they called him Fanboy. There's one who's called Bob. Bob. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, there's That's just a name. One who's called Brewster. 
Okay, uh, oh, following the bird theme. Yeah, following the bird theme. Um, okay. There's obviously Maverick, and then there's obviously Hangman Maverick. as well. Hangman, okay. Alright, fine. Do you like any of those? I mean, Phoenix is pretty cool, but that's already taken. She's great so, in the uh, film. Bird, names. Really bird names are pretty good. Albatross. Pretty cool like bird. Albatross. Albatross, yeah, I like that. Doesn't sound very threatening. I feel like they need to be something that's quite easy to say in a pinch, right? Because that's, yeah. that's kind of the point. Easier to say than a, your full name. You mean like fewer, fewer syllables, basically? Fewer syllables, yeah, something punchy. Okay, I'm very, very high up and I'm not supposed to. You are quite high. The Come radar on. is spotting you easily. Yeah, I'm And gonna there get are shot surface to air spike. missiles inbound on your location right now. Okay. Um, I, I really, I mean, it would be good if they showed me the map. Ahead yeah. Of, ahead of time. Burrito in the chat says For the return of Cool Mike, jet planes are just racing cars with wings. That's true. Yeah? That's true. That's so true. John Sullivan suggests Dougie, I think, for my call sign. Dougie? Dougie. Like the, like the CBB's like, dog. Like the cartoon okay, dog, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, that works, Dougie. Dougie. I like, I like that. That's good. What yeah. are you going to have then? What's your call sign? I Albatross. Don't know. No Albatross face. is three syllables. That seems yeah. like quite a lot. Sparrow. Budgie. Budgie! <laughs> mm. Budgie can be my bird related. Budgie, call well sign. known for their high altitude, no, low altitude, <laughs> high speed flying. Exactly, yeah. Let a budgie out of his cage. High speed, low altitude. Do you get to pick your own call sign, or is it something that your your friends and I colleagues pick for you? I don't know if it's like school be, where you don't get to choose your nickname. It is. You'd be gutted if it was. Upon you. If you're like everyone, call me, call me dagger, yeah. <laughs> call me, <laughs> call me badass, razor blade, and they're like, no, you're fanboy. <laughs> yeah, you big nerd. Uh, B, B's not bad. I'll B, well B. done. You're doing yeah. pretty good. Doing Thanks. pretty good. Mike's could be wild person. card, says Nathan Comlank. Wild, wild card, card's I like good. wild and card actually. Two syllables, that's useful, that's yeah. helpful. I like wild card actually, thanks, that's a good one. Okay, I, I took a right when I should have taken a left. Ah, ah. But otherwise, I mean, I managed to maintain a decent decent low altitude. Well done. TBA113 in the chat says, you don't pick a call sign, your peers assign you one. So Mike, what should Jane get and vice versa? Uh, okay. That's a... Uh, that's a lot of, um, a lot of responsibility to put on your peers, to assign you a lifelong call sign. Yeah, that's, I guess so. But that's more flattering, isn't it, if it's something cool? Like if, if it's something cool. If you end up with, like, Maverick or Iceman or, you know, yeah. Phoenix, those are, those are badass. I guess you're all friends and, and also, you you know, if you give someone a really rubbish nickname, then they're going to give you a rubbish nickname, <laughs> so true. it's mutually assured destruction. That's how, Bo that's how Bob ended up as Bob, I guess. <laughs> no one likes Bob. <laughs> no one likes Bob. I like Bob. Bob's good. Yeah, Sable Eagle says, no, your call sign is something inflicted on you. I see. Mm. Well, that's cool. When does it? When do they do it, though? When do they decide? At what point in training? Yeah. I don't know. I need to know. This is all good. This is all information I need to know. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah. I think Jane should be something like the professor or something. Or the professor? Einstein quite or something. A lot. Something, Einstein. Like, something yeah. like related to, to your physics. To your physics background. <laughs> Oh, the clouds look cool, don't they? All right, this is it. Let's pretend this is my final Top Gun exam. My final test. Yeah. So low, like Jason Derulo, I'm riding. According so to Zega low. Genesis in the chat, Ewan McGregor's brother is a fighter pilot, and his call sign is OB2, which is oh, amazing. <laughs> Imagine really training good. hard to be a fighter OB1, pilot. No OB2. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get named after your brother's yeah. fictional character. And also, you're the second one, the less I mean, good one. If I'm a cool, handsome uh, fighter pilot who shares genetics with Ewan McGregor, I'll you take it. Be I can live with it. Yeah. <laughs> what if manage. you looked more or less like Ewan McGregor, but also you're a fighter pilot? You're I mean, for yeah, you're not going to complain, are you? Really? Fine, fine and good. Hey, I'm doing quite well on this one. Silent K says, Jane, surely Mike's call sign needs to be Duck for the pale duck incident from Hitman. Hey, duck is that actually is quite good. a cool as call a, sign. As a bird related call sign. Yeah, Duck. Like duck channel. Yeah. Also, because you have to duck because of how low. Because of how low I'm flying, flying it works on multiple yeah. levels. So like many me. levels. Like me, I work on multiple levels as well. The current one Nathan being extremely. Uh, Nathaniel low. Zanuga is back in the chat to say, "Fun fact: I was at Top Gun while they filmed the movie. Call signs are based on something you do or person personality." Ah. Crash okay. man, they could call me then. <laughs> crash <laughs> man, like crash man channel. Yeah. Known for wrecking planes. 
Mike ejector seat channel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mike blackout channel. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, blackout all of these sounds are... quite cool, but it it's also is not a good thing. So no. that sort of works. It's better than red out, though, right? Red out's where you go the other way. You pull negative. Where the blood all goes blood to your eyes. Yeah, that sounds bad. Okay, I need to stay lower than I'm staying. In. How do you get a red out then? You pull negative G's, so like if you were to dive. So you're okay. diving, you, you're strapped in. Yeah. Um, and, oh gosh, oh gosh. Negative oh, G's gosh. are just G's though, aren't they? Just no, in the other no, no. direction. Yeah, in the other direction, up towards your head. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, I'm still awake. I don't know if I crashed there or not. I'm going to assume I did. Well. After burners back on. Okay, we're going to have to go really low now to make up for all, all that. Right, through the valley. That we were. I know you're supposed to be, like, really gentle with these things, but I can't help just, like, yanking the stick around and stuff. Yeah. Because it, it's cool. Oh, yeah, there you go. You say it's harder to be in this sort of third-person follow cam. Um, yeah, maybe a little. I don't know. Because it's funny, in a racing game, I find it easier, right? There you go. I find There's it... the sonic boom. Yeah, I find it easier in racing games to be in the cockpit. But oh really? Maybe I've just oh, gotten okay. used to it. B, and again. Congratulations! Absolutely destroyed. Smashing these it. These are too easy. These low altitude things. I think okay. I need to try something a little more challenging. Let's try something a bit spicier. Let's go to space. Let's go to space. How about we go to get space? that dark star? Yeah. Uh, right. Challenges. Low altitude challenges. Advanced challenges. Here we go. Stratospheric flight. Oh gosh, we've got to fly across. We we've got to fly to from California to Florida. Yep. In presumably about through space. Wait, thirty five yep. minutes. Come yeah. on. You're gonna accelerate from Mach four to Mach nine. All right. While in the stratosphere. Sounds good. Yeah, because I guess in the stratosphere Wars you have no air resistance whatsoever. But then how does your jet work? Um, propulsion still works. Scram scram jet, right? Is yeah. Thing, right. Yeah. I mean, propulsion still works, right? Yes. Action of equal and opposite reaction. But a jet engine works but by forcing, forcing would be different. air through, right? Oh, I see. Where are you getting the air from? Exactly. I think it's got you transition. So it's talking about scramjet transition. Right. I think that means right. 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 I'm I'm preparing to fail this quite a lot because okay. I don't even understand the basics of aviation, let alone advanced. Well, I can't even <laughs> Mike see. Doesn't understand the physics. Okay. I've got windows to either well, side. Well, you don't need to see in front of you. You just have to lean out the side like a trucker. Okay. I I see. All right. Stick your head out the window. Release the parking brake by pressing A. Yeah. Push the throttle to mill by holding that. Oh, uh, D Lordner in the chat says, I feel like Warlock would be a pretty good call sign for Jane. Warlock would be, would be an incredibly idea. cool call sign. I will aim to be cool enough to have the call sign Warlock. Uh, okay, let's just, let's go to outdoors where I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, things are vibrating on my desk. <laughs> I think that's the control. Okay, okay. I'm going very, very fast. Here's, a, here's some science for you. Chris yeah. Kane says, lower but still enough to react with fuel to combust. The SC in Scramjet indicates supersonic combustion. Wow. So apparently there's still enough uh, still enough atmos to combust. Oh no, you damaged your landing gear. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually take off at that point. Oh, I went no. very fast and I was so transfixed by the speed. Everyone on the runway is very disappointed that you what? didn't manage to take off. But what is more maverick behaviour than crashing a than damaging your landing gear. pound jet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taxpayer money, <laughs> exactly, Mike. Exactly, yeah. Such a maverick. In the bin. I know. And I don't care. Right, here we go. Okay, where are my instructions? Parking brake. Throttle to full. Let's go. Light okay. afterburners. Let's go. That plane looks like a low poly model. It does, it's, doesn't it? It's made yeah, of like it two like... triangles. Looks like PlayStation era graphics. Yeah. I know that's not what's going on here, but that's what it looks like to me. Okay, I'm taking off. Okay, take off. Don't damage your landing gear. Yeah, gear Great. Now up. Climb, climb to space. We just go straight up to space, don't we? Ten degree pitch. That's not too much that of a is... pitch. Yeah, that's not a lot of pitch at all, is it? Reach Mach point nine. Oh, I'm supposed, to be, I'm supposed to be gathering more speed at lower altitude, I think, probably. Yes. Okay, well, that's a 10-degree pitch. Okay. We're just trying to reach Mach 9. I don't know which of your instruments are telling you about your Mach number. I'm doing it hands-free. Look, I'm not even, yeah. not even trying. It's easy, this being an experimental jet pilot. Okay. There we go. Did it. Ichiban Kasuga in the chat says, Jane equals Valkyrie, Mike equals Chicane, and Andy <laughs> equals Blackhawk. Oh, Very nice. good. Very, very, very Oh, I'm not cool. maintaining my GPS heading. Uh-oh, you're going to the wrong way. It's all right. You're going to go right. to Australia right now. Just need to do a, just a very I'm going to go to Florida. 
Yeah, I just need a very slight. Thirty minutes adjustment. to Florida. You can be in Orlando. Um, can you imagine? Can you even imagine? In Orlando by tea time. Yeah. Across the country in thirty minutes. Sounds good to me. Jay Bird says the Dark Star looks like Batman's plane. Yeah. True. Probably like modelled on this. What? I, I, one of my gradually pitch up to maintain Mac 0 0.9 has yep. has gone off. So. Okay. I don't know if I'm doing a good job or a bad. So you job. want to pitch up a little more? Well, there you go. Maintain a twenty. Now we're going for a twenty pitch. degree pitch. Oh. Airspeed in the bottom left. So I think I'm stalling <laughs> it. Hold on. on. There, there we, we go. go. There's your airspeed. Oh yeah, my airspeed's like three hundred and something knots. That's not too bad. No, maintain twenty degree pitch. Wait, am I going too low now? There we go. <laughs> tricky this particularly I can't see any of my instruments because I'm your speed is dropping is it oh, yeah no. their speed is dropping oh no okay are we gonna get it are we gonna get to space do you think Jane or we're we gonna... still in the takeoff and initial climb phase yeah if you maintain the 20 degree pitch we will end up in space okay good eventually their speed is decreasing Roll inverted. Atom says, says Jane's call sign Nova, Mike's pit stop. These are all great call signs. They are really These folks good. are really good. Okay, I'm rolling inverted. I think upside down now, Mike. Do. No. Why did. What? I was trying oh, to do that's it not really upside do. down. No. Oh, no. You're self writing. You're writing yourself. Oh. The aerodynamics oh. wants you to be the right way up. You're going to have to roll inverted to get into your supersonic transition, Mike. Why, though? Why can't I, I go, don't know. Why can't you I need to be right upside down up? before you can go supersonic? <laughs> So turn yourself upside down. Just quickly flip right. over. All right, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna try and do it quickly and see if. All right, it... hup. Right, okay. Flip. flip. Okay, I flip. Flip it like a pancake. All right. Okay, you've rolled inverted. Unloaded roll to upright. Okay. Are these just test things? Oh, okay, maybe. I feel an awful lot like I'm falling out the sky at the moment. Yeah, your air speed is climbing. Uh, but that's because you're losing altitude, I think. Okay, maintain a minus 20 degree pitch to trade to altitude trade for altitude air speed. altitude for air speed. Done. Okay. Reach Mach 1. Okay. Let's go. It feels like we're going less into space. Yeah, right, okay. But we are getting faster. Maintain 1.2 okay. G pull up. 1.2 G pull up. And uh, gradually pitch up to 10 degrees. Uh, you're pulling 1.2 G, which is only okay. slightly more than Earth's <laughs> gravity. Okay. Oh, my GPS heading is all over the shop. Cause... Yeah, you're not going to Florida anymore. You're going to Alaska. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go to Alaska. No, wait, no, wait. You're, so... you're going east now. I'm coming that's back good. round. Coming back round. Okay. Okay. 10 good. degree pitch. That's a bit lower than okay. we currently are on, isn't it? Okay, I take back everything I said about this stuff being easy. What the heck? Okay. You can end up in New York or something. I mean, that's also good. Okay, I'm going. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've overdone it, haven't I? Let's go more this way. Right, okay. And my pitch is all over the place. I'm gonna start falling out of the sky again. <laughs> okay, right. Okay. Come on. Come on, plane. Work with me here. Okay. GPS heading, correct. 10 degree pitch. I, you can have one or the other, Jane. Which one do you want? Pitch yep. or. Pick heading? one. Uh, 10 degree pitch so that we can go to space. Okay, alright. I'd rather go to space and go I've to space. I've got both. Both went green. Briefly. Oh, no, you've got you neither. You saw it. I saw it. Okay, now slight adjustment to heading. There we go. All right. Am I very sensitive? The GPS heading. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Like, because over the course of like a thirty-five minute flight, if you're slightly off, you end up in a different country. Okay. Good. I Your airspeed is steady. Okay, but how do but I? But you want more. You want yeah, more speed. I, I want to hit Mach three. How do I hit Mach three? How fast is Mach three in miles per hour? In, how in fast is Mach 3? Person. How fast is Mach 3? I'll tell you. It's uh, 3,700 kilometers an hour. What? That's well, Mach 3 is three times the speed of sound, right? Yeah, that is outrageous. So yeah, pretty fast. Okay. Well, mm, I, don't okay. I don't feel like I'm going anywhere near that at the moment. So how do I, how do I reach Mach 3? I'm, the throttle is all the way up to the maximum the throttle can be. Mm -hmm. The afterburners are on. EF says, have you tried the Mach 3 button? 
<laughs> there could be a Mac 3 button on this, and I would have no idea. Maybe it'll be easier as you get higher, you know, like Concord. Yeah, but it's not like my it's not my airspeed's climbing, it's falling. Yeah, true. Or holding station. Holding steady, more or less. Mm. Gas, 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 accelerate, says everyone. <laughs> you could trying. just put your foot down on the accelerator. Have you tried pushing the gas pedal lower, says Nicholas Gagne. I've got the, I mean, the, I can show you the throttle, look, I don't, look. Show us the hot it's, ass. It's all the way, it's all the way it's that all the way. way, which is all the way forwards. Yep, yep, yep. Um, but I don't, yeah. You have to go into a dive, says Sean Craker. Oh. Yep, the but, Mac attack, says but Alfie. I, but how am I supposed to do a 10 degree pitch? Um, well, you can't, maybe you can't do all three at once. You're oh, going to okay. have to right. reach Mach 3 first by all doing right. a dive. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do it. All right. Okay. Increase airspeed. I mean, I really feel like going 3,000 kilometers an hour towards the ground Directly is downwards. a bad plan. But... Mm. Yeah. I, mean, I think it's... you need to dive to gain speed, then pull up, says David Fanari. Right, okay. All right, this is democratic fighter piloting, and I love it. Taking all... All right, you're going pretty fast. Not fast enough, right? Not fast enough. But you will have to pull up at some point. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to have to start now, because otherwise I'm going to absolutely slam into the ground. <laughs> Leave an enormous <laughs> crater. Yeah. And make all the dinosaurs go extinct again. Yeah. All right. I'm coming back up. Airspeed 1,000, 1,100... That's in knots, though, right? Isn't I can it? see a building, so that's probably a bad sign. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's in knots. Okay. And now I'm going to bring it back up to a 10 degree pitch. But then my... But see, as soon as I do that, my airspeed starts dropping. Yes. Scramjets need really high speed to get going, says the Pythe horseman. Right, okay. Fair enough, but do they really require you to point the jet at the ground to do it? I'm also going quite fast. You've maintained your speed as you've climbed, so that's good. Okay. And yeah. you're still you're still gaining speed. But I never actually hit Mark Three. Oh, I've just no. reached oh, there it. you go. I just well did it. Well done. Congratulations. Wow. Okay. You're doing Mach Three now. Now's time for the scramjet transition. Activate. The Activate the bottom beacon switch in the cockpit. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Hit it! Scramjet! Right, hold on, I'm going back to the cockpit, and then... Scramjet! Yep, <laughs> follow the blue eye. The blue eye. Okay. Bottom bottom beacon switch. Okay. There you go. Scramjet, on. Do it. Do it! Beacon lights. Okay, I did it. Okay, activate the top oh, beacon Oh no, switch. I'm going to do the top one as well. Do another one, Mike. Come on. Okay, Uh. right, hold on. Top beacon switch. We've I could be flying into a mountain at the moment. Point your face forward. Know. I'm trying. No, we've already done that one. You want the top beacon switch. Okay, but the glowing one, yeah? Uh, we, uh, I thought that's one we already did. I don't know. They're both okay, on, try right? It. Yeah, go on then. Go on. Everything on. Everything on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Did I do it? I don't know. Activate the top beacon switch is what it says. Am I in space yet? You're sort of in space. I can see the moon. <laughs> <laughs> While you've been peering at the switches, your plane has gone to space. I'm good. The glowing one's got to be the one. That I All have right, to go for the glowing one then. That one's inoperative. That's, this is fiddly. There we go. I did okay, it. good. Activate, Activate the fuel, the fuel cell, cell switch, switch oh, which gosh. is uh, just in front of your gear stick to the it's this right. little one. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Fuel cell switch on. On. On, please. Scramjet switch. Let's Scramjet do it. Scramjet switch. Hooray! Yeah, finally. it's the big one. It's the big the one. Big one. Hit it. Scramjet enable. Scramjet it. Do it. Nope. Oh. Let's scramjet. Okay, Go, hold on. come on. This is fiddly AF. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it really is. Alright, come yeah. on. Left, left. Come on. We're going to be in space by the time we get the scramjet. There on. we go. Okay, right. great. Wait for the Wait scramjets for to reach full power. I need to see this. Oh my. Whoa, I'm so oh nearly my. in space. You're in space. You've come too far into I space. Missed, I missed the glorious moment oh, no. where I went into You've space. Left. You've left Earth atmosphere oh, look, the and now you're in orbit. Oh, yeah, look at them, them scramjetting. All right, let's go to Florida. Let's get to Disneyland. Gradually pitch down to stabilize above 120,000 feet. Okay, what, what's our altitude right now? Uh, it's behind you, Mike. The altitude's is, behind your head. I can't read it. I mean, it's 100. And, yeah, we're we're a 
we're well, uh, we... we're above the we're above the amount. So I'm now in the. We're above 120,000 feet. Okay, so stabilize. Oh, okay, no, you're right. 120,000 feet. Maintain straight and level flights. Can do. It's easier said than but done. But at Mach nine. Can you see the curvature of the Earth? Uh Very yeah, slightly. basically, it looks curved, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. So now we just need to reach now... Cape Canaveral. <laughs> All right, okay. Simply now to simply reach Cape Canaveral. How will we know when we're over Florida? I don't know. It'll tell us, I'm sure. It'll tell us. I wasn't going to do the full 35 minute flight, but I'm quite enjoying this space flying stuff. Yeah, the music's really Thank getting you. there. It's really doing it for me. Yeah. Gosh. Okay, I'm losing, I'm losing some altitude. That's okay. We'll eventually lose all our altitude when we land in Florida. And that's true. <laughs> in a smoking heap. <laughs> oh, look, the... The moon no longer looks like bluish from the atmosphere because we're like we're basically mm. above the stratosphere. Yep. Let's just go to the moon. Can we fly to the moon instead? I mean, who's going to stop us, Jane? <laughs> I'm a maverick. I'm a maverick. I might just fly to the moon. <laughs> in this plane, going to the moon. Okay. Roughly on the GPS heading. Ooh. It's weird that like. I mean, there must still be some small amount of air, otherwise, like, aerodynamically, I wouldn't even be able to steer the dang thing, right? Yeah, so... that is true. But I bet it handles differently. Does it handle differently? Yeah, it's a little Does more Does it feel clumsy. like it's handling differently? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Wow, this is this is cool. This is magical. I'm in space. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. The temptation to just point it at the moon and keep going is <laughs> enormous. Um... It looks so easy. Yeah, I'm getting a bit too high now, I think, actually. How many, How? what's our altitude? Uh, 150,000 150, feet? Yeah. yeah, you're about 30,000 feet too high. Uh, 160,000. Okay. No, we're leaving Earth's orbit. Okay. Oh, the music's gone all emotional and stuff. Yep. Spacey. This is the soundtrack to you asphyxiating in outer space. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Barrett Green says, let's go to the moon. It's right there. It is right. It looks it's tantalizingly like it is just close. Right there. <laughs> uh, Andy D773 in the Discord says, Mike, right now. And it's a, a, a frame of um, Dr. Manhattan saying, I'm uh, tired right. of Earth. These yeah. people, I'm tired of being caught in the, the tangle, tangle of their lives. lives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Mike's on an exodus to outer space. Okay. I'm maintaining my GPS heading, or trying to at least. Very difficult. Like you say, it's very, very precise. Okay, I'm losing a bit of losing a bit of altitude, but that's okay because I'm still well above 120,000 feet. Your compass says you are still too far left of your GPS course, says Tony Bodlovic. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm roughly, roughly in the right spot. Okay. Where's Florida then? Come on. Keep an eye out for it. Well, what are we looking for? I mean, I can't see any coastline, so that won't help me. Yeah. I mean. In-flight meal, anyone? Oh, yeah. Do you want the, at least a drink. The chicken or the At pasta? least a gin and tonic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I had another flying dream last night. Did you? Not like a fun flying dream, like, you know, I'm, I'm flying under my own power like a superhero, no. but just like another airport stress dream. Oh, right. oh dear. <laughs> no, it's nice, because I haven't flown anywhere in like two and a half, three That's years true. Yeah. So... Uh, I think it's... Um, but why were you dreaming about the, the stressful bit of it? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm so out of practice that I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, now is my body's the... just trying to keep me ready, keep yeah. me airport ready. Now is the sort of time of year when we would normally be getting on an airport. Yes, you know right? what, that's it. We would normally, around this time of year, we would ordinarily, for the last 10 years, be getting on planes and going to LA for E3. Mm. And so maybe my body's just gearing up for, for stressful flight season and yeah. it's not happening. No E3. What you should just do it is like... It. Um, get yourself a chair like this. Yeah. Ram it right up against the wall. <laughs> get my knees yeah. into the front of the sofa. Glue yeah. an iPad to the wall yeah. and watch a film in Neat standard definition. A... <laughs> <laughs> Eat a tiny dinner yeah. off a tiny tray. Oh, that, that sounds lovely. Scratch the itch. Yeah. Um, all right. We are covering a lot of distance, and I'm back on my GPS heading apparently. So. Good. Great. Can't wait to reach Florida. Yeah. Hit the beach. Go to Disneyland. Shall I buzz the magic castle? <laughs> yeah. 
All right, okay. Rick Sweeney says all the news about cancelled flights is probably causing your dreams. There have been a lot of cancelled flights here in the UK. Well, yeah. like staff shortages or? Uh, I don't know, actually. I don't know what's been causing it, but uh, it's half term coming up, isn't it? So um, mm. a lot of people who were going to go away on, on their holidays for half term haven't been able to. Oh, that sucks. All right. Okay. Very this peaceful up here. It is. It's soothing, isn't it? I think this is why... This is the real reason people play flight simulators. It's not to, like, fly inches from the ground at top speed. It's, it's just to sort around of... Yeah, like, sedately quietly. cruise. Yeah. You know, I'm maintaining my 120,000 feet. Just gently. I would like it if you could fly a, a passenger jet in flight sim. And I know you can, but mm. get up from your pilot seat and leave it in the hands of the co-pilot and then just walk down the aisle. Yeah, well, like, they do that in the train simulators, right? All the train yeah, sims, in, you can get yeah, out of the train and just go... Walk around the train, and yeah. look at everyone and stuff. I want to walk down the, uh, down the aisle and see yeah, how and see everyone's are, doing in premium economy. Yeah. Oh, premium economy. I would premium quite like economy. to take a flight now. <laughs> Not necessarily to space, but just to, you know, somewhere, some nice destination. Yeah. Just go down to Nice or something. Yeah, just a short hop across be France. Perfect. Go down to Nice. Oh. Hang out on the beach. It'd be amazing. Look, I don't even have to... I'm I'm doing such a good job now. I don't even Hands have free. to... In fact, I can check the OX Supporters Club Patreon. Yeah. See, see what people are up to. Give me a shout on the, the live Wi-Fi. Stream out. Yeah. The 12, 20, 120,000 <laughs> feet Wi-Fi. It's a lot of people uh, doing... Oh, there's someone doing a I don't like sand meme. Yeah. Dream says that uh, I'm about to arrive at like a mass relay or something at the Citadel from Mass Effect. It does look a bit oh. like the Normandy, right? It's got Normandy-esque vibes to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little um, bit. Who else? Uh, Eric says, Mike Space Core Channel. We're in space. Someone's, <laughs> someone's done a, a gif of a Kerbal. Which is giving me terrible flashbacks to when I killed that entire family of Kerbals in Kerbal Space. Oh, yeah. Program. Kerbal. Good times. Oh, I've lost my GPS heading. Wait, wait, wait. Am we I watched there? Moonfall the other day. Oh, it's and bad. It, quite, it made me think quite a lot of Kerbal Space programs. <laughs> yeah, there's, a lot, there's a lot of Kerbal style physics going on in, uh, in Moonfall. <laughs> well, Kerbal Space physics is, is, is accurate, though. Yeah, I'm, not accurate. I'm not sure Moonfall is accurate, but. Um, no. But uh, there's a bit where they're, mm, I don't want to spoil too much, but there is a bit where they launch into space. Yes. In a fairly uh, shaky manner. They, it made they go into space to fight the Kerbal. moon, right? That's how it works. Yeah, yeah, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, a very, it's a very silly film, but it's got some quite like well-known people in it, like Oscar winner Halle Berry. And yeah, yeah. That guy Patrick from Wilson. Off of, yeah, that guy from off of The Conjuring. Yeah. Um, and that guy from off of Game of Thrones. Yeah, so... But you're saying you didn't enjoy it as much as Top Gun? No, it's it, it's a significantly worse film than Top Gun. <laughs> Just objectively. Like. All right, my, my bearing's all over the place. Okay, and I'm not maintaining my... I've lost all my no. green bits. I'm, I'm going to the Oh, room. no. You've got no... <laughs> you've got no... I took my hands off the no, controls for like one minute three. to check the Discord chat, which I assume okay. is something fighter pilots do all the time. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And now it's all gone wrong. How? You're sort of almost on your, on your correct GPS heading. Yeah, roughly. Roughly, I need to I need to go down a bit because otherwise I'm going to end up in actual space rather than pretend space. Hmm. Come on, we must have cleared most of America by now, surely. Maybe. Right. Maybe you have to do a U-turn. Maybe you have to pop a Yui and then get back to oh, Florida. No. I'm going to have to land this thing, aren't I? You're not over the ocean yet, so I don't think we've hit the Atlantic yet. No, we haven't overshot. We haven't overshot yet. Okay, okay, we're losing altitude quite a lot now. I'm doing a lot of like. Gaining altitude rapidly, rapidly and losing altitude rapidly, which is neither of which is a good idea, really. I don't think you're gaining speed reasonably rapidly. Mm, that's because I'm losing altitude. That's because you're losing altitude, yeah. All right, okay. Let's just bring it up a bit. <laughs> Sean Craker says if you're not at Mac 9, it will take you way longer to get to Cape Canaveral. We could be doing this for like hours because we're not at uh, Mac 9. Oh, what? Don't tell me that. Well, you're not doing Mac 9, are you? I don't think so, no. Okay, let me let me look it up. I was briefly Mac doing Mac nine. Nine, in. It's six thousand knots. Oh, okay, now we're doing it right. Oh wait, no, we're not. We're not. We're doing seven hundred. We're doing seven hundred knots. knots. You're doing about a tenth of what you should be doing. Oh no, so it's going to take us like three hours or something. Five hours uh, five to five get hours. to <laughs> Florida. All right, well let's do let's speed Which up. Which is not let's much better than an actual diving. domestic flight. 
Okay. Why? I don't understand this. Spaceship. Let's grab some speed, please. Because okay, Mac, grabbing... uh, yeah, the speed of sound. Nine times the speed of sound is 6,000 knots. Okay, I'm grabbing speed, but I'm losing altitude. I'm trading altitude for airspeed. That's what they told me to do, right? Okay, yep, 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 yep. Okay, but I was I was full throttle. I was maintaining 120,000 feet. I don't really know what this game wants from me, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to pull back up again a little bit. We are travelling fast, though, right? We're, I mean, look hard at the, to tell. I mean, yeah, look, look at the ground going look by at the underneath. Speed the scenery's going by. Oh, I heard that. Oh, oh yeah. That's good. Maybe That's my good sound. Maybe my scramjet things weren't working. Oh, that's interesting. Andrew H says, remember that the speed of sound is lower at higher altitudes, so Mach 9 at 120,000 feet is slower than Mach 9 at ground level. What? Good point. Oh, come Good on. Good point. Way to make this more complicated. Chris Kane adds, just reminded that's not at sea level is 6,000 knots. Airspeed changes with altitude too, of course. Okay. Of course. So, am I going to Florida or am I not going to Florida? Is the, <laughs> the important question. <laughs> Because pretty soon I'm going to give up on this and I'm going to try and land on an aircraft carrier. All right, I'm going to the uh, NASA.gov Mac and speed of sound calculator. Okay. So your altitude is about 120,000 feet. It was. It's now about 60,000. It's about half that now. Oh dear. All right, 60,000 feet. And your speed is. Oh, it's in knots. Hang on. Okay, I'm gaining. I'm gaining altitude again. So that's good. But I'm losing. Mac I'm losing S. Nine. I think it's because I need to. I need more gentle inclines, rather than like you know completely scrubbing off all my speed. Yes. By going upwards, I need to be just okay. fooling the plane into thinking it's going straight, but actually it's going at, very very slightly. At upwards. sixty thousand feet, the speed of sound is six hundred and sixty miles an hour. Okay, that seems like so a lot more than I'm doing. Therefore, right now. you need to be doing um, just shy of six thousand miles an hour. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay, I don't think I'm doing 6,000 miles an hour, Jane. I just don't think it's happening. Nothing's happening for me. <laughs> All right, well, look, we achieved most of our goal, which was to go to space, right? Yeah, that is true. That is true. So I think we can call that a win. I wonder what part of America we're over right now. I don't know. We can go down and have a closer look if you like. Can you not switch to, like, a world map or something? Let's just go down and have a look. We we'll, might be able to... Look at that heating effect. Oh, look, I'm getting the, uh... red out. I'm getting red out. Oh, no, Mike. All the blood. Yeah, all the blood. It's because I was pulling massive amounts of negative G. Right, we're going to go and see how low we can fly this thing. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Let's take it to an urban centre. Yeah. I mean... Right, here we go. I mean, the, the plane might come apart. That is something I think is is calculated in this in this simulator. But, like, if we go too far down too fast the fuselage might just explode um, but let's see let's have a look right tell me if you see any landmarks Like, there's a map inside the plane notes Sean Craker so if you switch to cockpit view it'll show you where oh, you are okay. with respect to uh, the country sort of I can see some and rivers and lakes does. and stuff yeah we're somewhere with a river Okay. if anyone recognises those rivers let me know ok we are now about to do like a high speed Fly yeah, by. you are oh, look, picking up are, speed terrifying. It's, it's sort fast. of shaking itself You're apart. about to shake your plane into pieces. Yeah, I think it exploded. Yeah, you you, you overstressed, overstressed the aircraft. aircraft. Yeah, you did. That, nice one, Maverick. That challenge, <laughs> that challenge overstressed me. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> it shook itself to pieces. I know. Over I know. middle America somewhere. Well, what can I say, Jane? I'm a Maverick. One uh, of the middle states. All right, okay. Last thing we're going to do, and this is going to take a few goes, I think, probably. Okay. Is, um, is the uh, oh yeah the carrier. the carrier carrier deck landing, which is fun. This one of the most difficult maneuvers in military air Apparently, flight. if you can do this, you're one of the best of the best. So if you can I do this, then you're allowed a job as a real pilot. Yeah, Mike. that's how it works. It emails them as soon as you complete this <laughs> challenge. It sends an email. And says, yeah, they post some real aviator them. glasses to your house, yeah. and then you you turn up to for... use these cheap knockoffs. Yeah, and then you turn up for your job as a Top Gun. All right, ready to fly. This looks straightforward. It's like a runway. Did you know it's on the branding for this DLC. It says Top Gun. No, it says Tom Cruise Top Gun Maverick. Right. So this will be the first piece of Xbox DLC that has Tom Cruise's name on it. I ah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Okay, so what I've got, let me explain it to you. Okay. You see that little so right in the in the sort of to the left of my heads up display? Yeah. You see that little 
red thing, that means that I'm yeah. going too fast. So right, I'm, okay. So that's bad. So I'm that's slowing a bad down thing. a bit. And then this thing okay. that's just appeared at the top, yep. that's like my height. And at the okay. moment I'm too high. So I need to go okay. lower. Okay. Right, and, and slower, and lower and slower. Lower and slower. Yeah, like barbecue. Yeah, breaks. Okay, I'm going I'm too low now. So you've got to try and keep it lined up with ah. those, those green balls. But I'm going yep, yep, too yep. fast. Okay. Even though I'm gliding in, I'm I'm going far okay. too fast. So, you're a little low and you're a little fast. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh 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 Okay, uh -oh. and and oh oh okay. no. Oh no, a little well. bit of an angle. A little oh, bit of a lean on that. Oh no, put, put it, it down. down. No. Oh no, you bounced off. Okay, bounced I bounced off. off it, but I'm okay. You're okay. You I failed, failed to land on deck and had to bolt it. Right. Bolt it just like giving up. I think so, yeah. Trying again. Okay. Then they use a hook. Don't you have to like yeah, grab you onto have a, a hook. hook? Yeah, it's part of the landing gear. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, don't forget to deploy your hook. Unless they, unless your hook's broken or your gear's broken, in which case they just throw up a big net. It's weird. Oh wow! But my they catch you in a net like yeah, a little birdie. You do, yeah. I think it's a series of big nets. Right. Okay. So, okay. If I keep it, you see, it's now a little circle. It's like a little donut. Yes. That so means I'm good. going the right speed. Okay. Right. Oh no! Oh, going, now you're going too fast. Too fast. So I need to slow down. Okay. Slow down, please. Or am I going? To, yeah. There you go. Donut. 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 Okay. We've donut got donut. Is good. Okay. I need to speed up now. Oh, it's green. It's yeah, green good or is green bad? No, green is like I need to speed up more. Green is bad. To, oh no. I need to keep, like in real life, Jane, keep your eye on the donuts. Right, okay. Only donut is good. Okay. It's going too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Okay. Slowing down. Slowing down. And now I've got to Nose worry about Nose up throttle now. to maintain your altitude. Okay. There we go. Okay. I need to speed it's up good. a little. Donut is good. Okay, the donut is good. Now I'm too high, so I need to... Oh no, I need to slow down. Uh, 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 okay, okay. The... Donut is good, and the, I need a little bit of speed, a little bit uh -huh. of speed, and so tense. my height is, I'm too low now, too low. Okay, I'm way too low. I'm dangerously low, dangerously low, and dangerously need to speed up. Okay, donut, donut. Okay, back up. No, slow down. It's all speed up and slow down, Jane. It's so complicated. <laughs> okay, okay, donut is good. Height is good. Donut is good. Height is good. Donut is good. It's a perfect approach. No, 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 Roger I'm ball. too low. And I need to speed up. No. Oh, oh no. Oh no. It's all right. You're a little low, says the guy. I'm too high now. I'm too high and You're I need too to slow high. I'm too fast now. Okay. Watch Mike bounce it off the deck of this carrier. Okay. Oh no, too low and too need to speed up now. Oh no. Oh no, you're going in. You're going into the cafeteria window now. Okay, put it down. 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 Hook, hook out. Hook out. I did it. Yeah. I did it. I landed on the deck while carrying the best of the best. All right, now you're a Top Gun. Now you're a Tom Cruise Top Gear Maverick. That's a big Maverick. score. Uh, it's That's only a C. C. That's a it's C, only a C, though. But I bet it's better than all my friends on my friends list. Let's see. Okay, my glide slope was bad. My angle of attack was also bad. Your landing precision was good, though. Look at that. Base multiplier for catching wire one. I, I got a, I got. Oh a wait, no, it wasn't good. You got yeah. 62 out of 200 but points. Well, I got a 50 percent, a 50 malice. I don't know what a malice is. Yeah. For not setting not power setting back power to back mill to upon mill. touchdown. Yeah. What, oh, you think? I did. what were you I did. thinking, Mike? Maybe I didn't turn my afterburners off or something. <laughs> no, <but laughs> you that frazzled make sense. all the, I wasn't on all the deck hands. All right, fine. Well, that's not a bad starting score. I'm gonna have another go at it. All right. Okay. I'm quite proud of the fact that I put it down with no fatalities, to be honest. Yeah. Like, that's not bad at all. Should we try and do so, it from yeah, fun, fun view now? Fun view, yes, please. So they, did they do this in the film? Do they land on an aircraft carrier? Yeah. 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 Did they do it for real? Did they have the yeah. actors land on... Really? Well, wow. they, they don't... So the actors weren't actually, like, flying, as far as I know. Oh, OK. Um, they were, like, passengers with real... Pretending to fly. Yeah. They had, like, a little Maggie Simpson, like, fake kind yeah, of steering, steering wheel. wheel. And they're like, I'm flying! Um, I, I do think that... Um, I think they let Tom Cruise fly a bit because he can. You've got to fly. let Tom yeah. Cruise fly. Like. He, he likes to do it all himself, and he, I'd um... like to see you try to stop Tom Cruise yeah. from flying a plane he's in. Okay, I need a bit more speed. A bit more speed. Yeah, there you go. Uh, a bit more slow down. A bit more slow down. And oh, my approach angle is looking all right. It's okay. Oh, look at that. It's a perfect glide path. Yeah. Oh, optimal. Oh, I need a bit more. A bit more height. 
I'm going a little bit too slow. A little bit too low. Now I'm going too fast. I'm about to be going too high, probably. Imagine a deckhand on this carrier is looking up and watching you do a sort of like... <laughs> wobbly. Little wobbly roller coaster. Tra training on the wheels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sort of vibe. This is fine, they say. I'm sure this one will end perfectly. Oh, uh, no, no. What am I doing? Okay. Fine. I need to speed up a little bit. This is tricky. Why do they do this? Why do they not just land on the land? What if there's no land? What if there's no land to land on? Good point. Yeah, that's a good point, Dan. All right, okay. Okay. I need to speed up a little bit because I'm running out of... Uh-oh. Oh, no, you're going to drift no, on sideways. High. Okay. Oh, no. Bring it down, bring oh, it down. Oh, no. Cut you're going to drift on. Uh, grab, the 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 oh, grab the hook. Grab the no, hook. Grab the hook. No, hook is grabbed. No, no, hook is grabbed. Oh, you're going into the drink. <laughs> I went oh, in the drink. went into the drink. I went in the drink. Okay, that went worse. That was much worse. You see what I mean about it being a bit trickier in chase cam, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like yeah, I can yeah, line yeah. it up more in cockpit cam. But anyway, that's just an excuse. And real mavericks don't make excuses. So uh, I'm going to give it another go. What the, look at the world top 10. Two million points. Wow. Was that Tom Cruise? Yeah, but it was. I bet it was. Tom Cruise's that's game attack. Tom Cruise. Um, Matt P says set trim to get the circle in the centre of the E bracket then you swattle only which I imagine is very useful advice if I knew what, what does, that meant uh, what any of that meant no um, I fly on instinct so just pure guts and passion um, and donut and donuts <laughs> Link T Simmons says 40 million dollars in the drink <laughs> yeah. that was 40, an expensive I, afternoon I, I expect it to be more expensive it's a bargain first. yeah okay Lots of people in the chat saying warplanes and military aircraft are only appro uh, only approved for flight by combat pilots. So what? I don't I don't know what Tom Cruise thought he was flying, but uh, it can't have been an active military aircraft. Yeah, but are you going to say no to Tom Cruise? <laughs> I mean, I don't have to, but someone yeah. maybe did. There, he according to the interview that I saw yeah. with him. Yeah. He said that they gave him a little dual controls type thing. Well, maybe that they bought him his own non-military. You know, yeah, he wasn't allowed to do it. any of the actual manoeuvres, but he was he like... He wasn't allowed to, like, do a, a, were, an airstrike on no, anyone. No, exactly. But when they were flying in formation, he apparently was allowed to fly. <laughs> they told him that his little Maggie Simpson... Was doing it. <laughs> yeah. Was doing it. His little Maggie Simpson um, steering wheel. Okay. Someone was telling me I could just steer this on throttle, were they? Seems unlikely. Basically, just keep your throttle level and hold steady when approaching the runway, says Kyle. So straightforward, Kyle. Um, it's so nice to have an actual fighter jet pilot in the chat. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm getting a bit low. Need to speed up. Getting a bit too fast now. Need to slow down. Too slow. Fast. Too slow. Too high. Too low. Too slow. You're a little high. I know I'm a little high. I'm trying to deal with it, but it's difficult. I need to slow down now. I just need to slow down and glide in. Slow down and glide in. Slow down and go. Oh, it's looking shaky. It, and... No, grab that hook. First hook. Yeah, oh, no. come on. That's a hook. That's a hook. That's a hook. Was that That'll a hook? Do. Oh, nice. Afterburner's on. Hooray. I did it. Okay. This is easy. I got a See, worse score than last time. You got a worse score. But. Did you get a malice? I got. I definitely on. will have got a malice because I don't know what. Oh, I don't know what it means. Why... For not setting the power back to mill upon touchdown. What does that even mean? What does mill you know? mean? I put the brakes on. Maybe I was in reverse. <laughs> maybe I was like reverse gear. You reversed into the ocean just after. Yeah, maybe. Okay. All right. Well, that was easy, Jane. I thought that was going to take a full half an hour. It's actually taking ten minutes. No, so. it turns out getting to Florida from space is hard. Yeah. Whereas landing on a carrier jet is easy. Any any old mug can do it. All right. Fine. Well, did we not do any of the? Were there any of the? Okay. We didn't do a low. We didn't do this low altitude. So let's do. A, okay. Let's, do a, let's just end with a cheeky bit of low altitude. How's the chat doing? Chat's doing good. The lowest part. Eric Green just says, practice. just fly perfect, then land. Yeah. Well, I did pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Now that plane's upside down. I don't know a lot about planes. But oh, Matt P says mil equals military, which is full power without afterburn. So for whatever that's worth. Why would I but why would I turn it back up to? No, you went to turn it off. To, no, but I said I, I got I lost points for not putting it to mill when I got to. Yeah. Oh. Well. 
Maybe, I, well, I don't know anyway. Whatever. Oh, TBA113 says full military thrust so you can get back off the runway if you miss the hooks and can't stop before you run out of ship. So it's kind of like a... Um, Just in case. A cautionary measure, yeah. Well, exactly. then you're, you're putting a lot of trust in those hooks to, yeah. to contain... Yeah, but better than, like, um, stacking it off the end of the runway and into the ocean. Yeah, very I slowly guess. flopping off the end. Into the I runway. guess having that power to hand is, like, the backup option. All right. Well, I would have got a lot better points then if I just throttled up as soon as I, as soon as I hit the runway. Is that right? We can have ah. another go in a minute. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The chat is all concurring. This is good intel chat. That uh, yeah, the, the power is there in case you miss the hook. So it's there as a sort of contingency. But uh, I knew I hadn't missed the hook. So <laughs> Mike was so confident yeah. in his landing skills. He's like, I don't need that power because I know I'm going to yeah, nail it. Because I knew it was fine. Honestly. <laughs> All these rules that the military has, they've just never dealt with a maverick like me before, is the problem. Okay, right. This is looking good. This is a much less challenging terrain uh, to be flying low over, I must admit. The rolling okay. hills of West Virginia. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Yep. Country roads take me home. Yeah, right. It's also much straighter, you know, straighter flight path. Minus, don't give me minus points. Honestly, these Top Gun instructors. Kind of, are there bears in West Virginia? Lessons. What kind of wildlife? I don't know. If there are any bears, they're all terrified. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> if you're a bear getting buzzed at like Mac three, like. <laughs> yeah, you'd think the world was ending, wouldn't you? If you're a bear, you'd be like, well, oh, that's it. I had a pretty good bear life, and now it's all over. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, that's nice. Now we're top gunning. <laughs> this is much more exciting than anything else I've done in this game. I'm, I'm sure it's a very good game and everything. But well, it's because mostly you're not simulating fighter pilot flying, yeah. are you? You're simulating, you know, nice. Maybe gentle I just flying. need to play a simulator that is a fighter pilot. Yeah, simulator. maybe you need to be playing a fighter pilot simulator, yeah. I guess. Alright. Oh, I lost quite a lot of points there. So I wasn't low enough. Okay. Oh. Oh gosh, look, I'm supposed to go through there, aren't What's I? That? Oh Guaranteed no. Guaranteed I'm supposed to go through there. Oh, oh, oh so nearly made it. Into a bear. So nearly made it, yeah. Was one, <laughs> splash one bear. Um, right, okay. Now I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I was just a little slow on the uptake. We can do this. Look. Look at this. Yeah, this is some Top Gun stuff. This. Yeah, how good's that? Come on. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. I was looking the other way, but it's very good. <laughs> I was <laughs> looking I, at the chat. I, I, I caught the tail end of it. It should give me extra points for just looking like a total... Yeah, Everyone in chat, ghost. inform Jane how much of a badass maverick Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll watch you back. I'll watch you back on video <laughs> on demand. All right, good. Okay. Stay nice and low. Sound cut out briefly there. Yeah, buzz these farms. Yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. I'd blow the roof off some of these places. There is a bit in the film where, like, a, a jet flies over a little shack thing and the roof, like, flies off. Oh, and no. The director was like, yeah, that was just, it broke the set, but we thought we'd leave the shot in the film because it looked cool. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah, do a big, big loop the loop. Not bad. Look at that ghost. Not bad at all. How'd you do? I got B, B. but I did crash into the ground one, yes. at one point. And I beat Yes. You still beat Mr. Martin, Mr. Martin Mr. Martin from Martin. a Eurogamer. All right. Right, I want to I want to see what score I can get on that on that landing thing if I then throttle up and follow the rules. Okay, all right, yeah. okay. Even though I'm a maverick, I am prepared to just try and follow the rules briefly. On this occasion. To okay, see fine. Yeah, better score. I'd love to get a B. Can you imagine Hank a B? the good Khajiit in the chat says, "Do a barrel roll." <laughs> in the peppy hair voice. I've done multiple barrel rolls, some intentional, some Were they barrel rolls or were they aileron rolls? No, probably aileron rolls. <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> okay. Aim for a steady amber on the alignment. Fly the ball on the flololls. Glide scope and keep the donut. Just keep the do fly the ball and keep the donut, Jane. It's easy. It's straightforward. Just fly so the ball. So hungry for donuts. Fly the ball and keep the donut. Gonna keep that donut. Gonna fly that ball. Right. Okay. Let's just keep. Oh, I need to slow down a bit. Here we go. Should I put it in funo vision? There we go. Yeah, funnel vision. Okay, I need to slow down. My 
Glide. What country are you, are you off the coast of? Do oh, we know? Probably America. I, I can I can look it up when we when we get back mm. out. Okay, I need to speed up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, slow down a little bit. Okay, fine. Keep that. Fly the ball, Jane, and keep yeah, the, just keep don't the drop donut. the donut. Yeah, just don't drop that donut. It's timid. <laughs> I can't see the donut from here. Uh, I'm, it's because the donut. It's because I'm it's going too inside fast. Inside the plane, yeah. <laughs> the donuts are inside the plane. Oh, oh no, I see it's there. Right, yeah, okay. Yeah. We've shifted it down here. I okay, see. Okay, I'm going a bit low, so I need to speed up. It's dangerously low. Speed, 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 bit speed, speed and height. Bit of speed. speed okay, we've got a donut. Oh, donut. Briefly. Donut is confirmed. I'm going donut too lost. fast now. Okay, fine. A little high. A little high. Only a little, little fast, low and a little fast. fast. A little high, you can bring one down and the now. other up. A little low and a little slow now. Wow. There's really just like a hair's breadth of. Yeah, it's like a balancing act, basically, but two sweet spots. It's in the two middle, separate yeah. balancing acts, which is yeah. a bit of a nightmare, really. Need more okay. speed, more speed, need more speed. A little more height, a little more speed. Okay. Okay. Uh, slow oh, down. Oh, okay, alright. Hook. And, and I crashed up. them by crashed my wing it. into oh, it. Oh no! Into, that was you decapitated one of the deckhands. <laughs> oh no! Oh dear! That was looking pretty good up until right up until right the, until final the last bit. second. Yeah. So, uh, where okay. does it say we are? Where we're, are we? We're what in is San this? Diego. We're in San Diego. Oh okay, okay, Diego. okay, okay. Makes sense. Fly the ball. Keep the donut. Don't drop the donut. Don't drop the donut. The donut isn't speed, it's angle of attack, says DW. I know on. it's angle of attack, but it's affected by the speed. Yes. The speed okay. is the easiest way to... Yeah, think of it. ...to, to, okay. keep, to keep the donut. <laughs> right, okay. Okay. All right, okay. <laughs> so, let's try this again. I need to slow down a bit. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on, much slower. Need to go much slower. Okay. Does it deploy your little landing hook for you? It's you already deployed. The, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, the little dangly. Yeah, dangly I, I, thing I can bring it back in, but um. No, you don't want to do that. Need more speed. Need more speed. <laughs> Me, I don't need the hook. <laughs> yeah, I'll just hit the brakes as I land. <laughs> TBA113 says collided with an object is the most bland way they could possibly have described bonking a fighter jet into a warship. <laughs> yeah, I know. Crashing through the upper three decks. It's because they, they don't want people like using flight sims to practice crashing into things. But my counterpoint okay. to that would be that crashing into things is the easiest bit and doesn't require a lot of practice. It's, it's not crashing into things that is the hard mm. bit. As I'm about to demonstrate now, because I've got no. Airspeed What's that whatsoever. beeping? I don't like that beeping. It's the you're falling out of the sky beeping. Oh no, I hate that beeping. Yeah, That's the too. worst alarm. Okay, I need more height. More height and more speed. Okay. Okay. You're also coming at it uh, on a, a bit of an angle. angle. Yeah. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> I don't know, Jane. You're, <laughs> you're going to like Tokyo drift sideways yeah, along I the am, runway. Yeah. yeah, what of it? <laughs> <laughs> Pull up, pull up. You, you fly your way. Pull up, Maverick. Away. Okay, we need more power. Ducky, no. Ducky, no. Okay, 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 okay. Slow, slow, right. slow, 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 slow. A little bit of a tilt, but you can bring it back. High. I'm seeing a donut. Uh, you're a little. Oh. Oh, well, that's a oh, bounce. bounce. A little bit of a bounce. Oh no! <laughs> Look out, everyone! Everyone, watch oh, out! Oh no! No! Uh, pull up. <laughs> Okay, what went wrong there? You failed to well, land on the I'll tell you deck. what I got right, Jane. I put the throttle yeah. back to maximum as soon as I realised I wasn't yeah, going to hit the thing. Well, it should let you, for that reason, if you had the thrust back up, it should let you circle around and try again. Yeah, it should. Although I guess it would be I would a bit never be able to line myself up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need it's it to put me done exactly all the point, for yeah. you. Yeah. All right. We've got okay. 10 minutes to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to get, get an A. I'm gonna, I need to see an A, yeah. I would love an A. I think a B would be would be enough. Okay. Middle gun. Let's okay. aim for middle gun. Not bottom gun. Not top right. gun. Just San Diego gun. is watching. Yeah. All right, okay. Okay. A little bit slow. A little bit slow. A little bit slow. Okay, we're, we're good. We're balanced. Just a little bit slow. Okay, this is fine. Okay, a little bit, of, little bit more speed. 
A little bit more speed. Just a touch more. Okay, we're good again. Good again. And we're basically... Just need a little bit more speed. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Fine and good. Oh, this is tense. I'm too high now. I need to slow down. Hmm. But yeah, if you're in a re if you're a real fighter pilot, you get as many goes at this as you like. You know, you just well, you... mostly because they want their plane back. Yes, yeah, true. Actually, if you don't land, then they don't get their plane. Yeah, to be fair, if it were me, I'd just eject over the carrier and pick me up. <laughs> just drift gently down onto deck and go for lunch. Yeah. Okay, I'm low, so I need a bit more, more gas, a bit more juice, and a bit more. Roger ball. Fly the ball. Drop the donut. You're high. Yeah, I'm high. I know I'm high. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, now I'm low. Look, you told me I was too high and now I'm too low. You jerks. Overcorrected, as per usual. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, lots of slowdown. Lots of slowdown. Okay, too don't high, be able to too... up. Oh, no, you're going to take out the other plane. Oh, no, you're okay. Oh, oh come on. You're not okay. I think I, I was like on the I was on the wires, but I was too far to the left of the wires. Too far to the side. Catch. I think you took the nose off one of those other planes. Come on. So you, so you destroyed two planes. Oh yeah, I didn't like to do things by half, Jane. Yeah. You know? If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take them with me, basically. That again, that approach was better. Like all the donut stuff was fine to start with, mm. and then eve 78 advises tiny throttle movements in the beginning yeah i know i know i was trying them, okay but it's towards the end that i struggle because that's when the throttle movements get a lot bigger <laughs> okay a little bit of slowdown okay okay all right all right, all right. Some top gif action going on in the discord great good job everyone i will catch up with it later on <laughs> There's a, a, a an hilarious sort of it's not a blooper. I think it's like a behind the scenes of Obi Wan Kenobi, right? Like flying the plane, but uh, but just having fun with it, just kind of goofing around. Nice. <laughs> it's very cute. Okay. Okay. Tiny throttle adjustments. Everything. All of my adjustments tiny. are tiny at the moment. Okay. Everything subtle and tiny. <laughs> Vindicare says Mike's writing checks. His body can't catch. Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have it. Indeed. <laughs> Greg Ludzinski says, fortunately these planes only cost like $70 million a piece, so it's no big deal if you've been a few. Hey, how are you supposed to practice? Uh, if you can't been a few $70 a few. million dollar planes. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I'm being so, I'm trying to be so gentle with this thing and just running out of airspeed here a little bit. All right, tiny adjustments. V78 says, think of this like you're moving on ice. I am moving on ice. No, I know I'm low. You're low. That guy is very unhelpful. He is, isn't he? You're high. You're high. <laughs> yeah, we know. Yeah. We know, voice. Mike's high. Okay, okay, okay. I'm too. I'm a little too high. You're getting a little bit of donut. A few little donut flashes. You're coming in at an angle again somehow. Yeah, I am, but... Uh, all right, get ready to throttle up. And... Catch that. Yeah! Catch that yeah, you got one. Full throttle. We'll throttle up. Yeah. Trust, now, trust the wire. Now okay. you're going to give me malice for having too much power. See? See? That was Why my best C? score yet. Okay. Hey, I didn't get, any, I didn't get, I didn't, I didn't get um, deducted any points. But you only spent 5% time on the optimal glide slope, and usually you do a lot better on the optimal glide stroke than that. Oh, no. Glide slope. Oh, no. Well, you've got five more minutes. I reckon you do it one more time. One and more this time, time, power up. And stay on the glide slope. All right, um, I'll try. The optimal glide slope, she said. I'll easily. do my best. I did come in at a, a real lurid angle. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, 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 yeah. So now just bring it all together. Everything I've learned, everything you've taught me, Jane, as Top Gun instructor. Yeah. And also the hive mind, the chat. Yeah, thanks, hive mind. Yeah, I appreciate it. Particularly the like people who actually work with these real planes. Yeah. And are your collective just mind planes. is going to help us land this plane. All right, okay. Or crash it it massively okay and then we'll get a big like spike if you manage to not stack it into the ocean yeah or destroy another plane 
Okay, I'm just trying right. to keep the throttle. It's golden hour in San Diego. It certainly as is. As Mike brings his plane on along the optimal glide slope for landing on the SS, whatever its name is. The SS smashes a lot. <laughs> okay, a little bit more speed. Okay. Oh, dear. oh, I already feel like I'm being blown off course yeah. here. Yeah. Right. Is there a crosswind? Is that what you're worrying about? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. A little bit of a crosswind. Okay, my yeah, I'm way too high for the glide slope stuff at the moment, so glide slope. Think about your glide slope. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, I'm really concentrating here. That's why I'm not saying very much at the moment. Good. All right, you concentrate. The SS Donut, Cisric Sweeney. Yeah. Chris and you, the SS Donut. Okay. Okay. Everyone, focus. I'm seeing donut. It's good. Glide slope looks Glide good. Slope. Mm, it's, I'm going high again now. Okay. Listen for the voice. You're high. Yeah. You're low. <laughs> okay. A Roger. Power. A bit of power. Okay. A bit of power. Come on. Now I need You're to a slope. little low, he says. Yeah, but I'm a little high now, so make your mind up. Okay. Oh. A little bit more speed. A little low oh. now. A little low. Nose up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I don't know about your glide slope, but positioning okay. is good. All right. Don't forget to throttle up. Throttling up. Metal hook. Yes. Yes. Come on. Give me that B. Bravo. Let's see a B. I want or that B. Or even an A. Yes, I got the B. Yes. I got the B. Well yes. done, a million points. Like, like over, the Top Gun Mike. 37,000 Adequate over. Gun Mike channel. Adequate Gun, that's me. Mike Ducky channel. <laughs> that's me. All right. Amazing, time for some topless score. volleyball or something. Of course, I always, yeah. Um, wow, I only just cleared that, but... Good job. Nice. Well done. Well done indeed. Thank a you. A perfect landing. Thank you. I felt the need, the need for speed. And <laughs> you felt the need for donuts. Answered the call. Yeah, I felt the need, yeah. the need for donuts. You spent thirty-four percent time on your glide slope, which is way better than five percent. All right, I'm gonna like that video right now. <laughs> All right, thanks. Yeah, if you would like to like this video, if you've enjoyed my, we uh, like to like it. Top Gun challenge. What, all right. Jane, look at all the stuff we've done. We've flown through narrow canyons. We've gone into space. We went to space, we've... but not to Florida, which proves it's easier to get to space. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. Okay. All right. How was it playing with sunglasses on? Yeah, not bad, actually. Yeah, They're quite dark sunglasses. Yeah. Could you even see the screen? No, I could see it. I could see you it. You just it wasn't flying by instinct. But now that I've finished, I can take them off, I suppose. You can take them my, off. Put yeah. some normal glasses on. Hooray! Oh, everything's so bright now. Oh, yeah, weird. welcome. The future is bright. Um, thank you so much for watching this uh, and indulging my uh, my current need for speed passion for <laughs> Top Gun Maverick, which is really good. Like genuinely, it's a really good film. Um, you should totally oh, I love it when Mike sees a film that he's like enthusiastic about because yeah. you know he has to be fully immersed in it. Exactly. Like, streaming is... about it on the channel, talking about it. This is a good way to do wearing that. the sunglasses. Yeah. And, and so this is DLC is free. If you have Flight Simulator, yeah. Microsoft Flight Simulator, then go grab yourself some free it's all uh, Game Pass as well, right? Top so, Gun Maverick stuff. Yeah. Oh, in you, fact, yeah. If, if you've, you've got, got Game, Game Pass, Pass, you can go and grab it. Go and treat yourself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I think we're back on Thursday, aren't we? With uh, a Thursday feature, with a feature, our usual feature, yeah, a classic uh, Oxbox list. And uh, I think we we may have something on Friday as well if we can get it together. Uh, but we'll I don't do our best. Anything. We'll do our best. It's a short, it's a bloody it's short a really week, short as we mentioned week, at the yeah. top of the stream. Thanks um, to the old queen, we're only doing three days' work this week, so... Yeah. Well, I could get used to it, definitely, but... Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching, and if you've enjoyed this and would like to join the RX Supporters Club, where loads of people are having fun and sharing gifts in the Discord chat, uh, head over to patreon.com slash club. That's where that's all happening, um, and yeah. It's all totally optional. There's no sort of paywalled content or anything, but it's a fun place to hang out. So if you'd like to do that, uh, feel free to join. All right. Thanks so much for Any watching. Any words of wisdom you want to leave the top top gun fans um, with? Mm, I think uh, I think my and words catchy. of wisdom are don't don't let your ego write checks that your body can't catch. <laughs> yeah, I'm always doing that. Because it's bad, apparently. Even also, does it, does anyone even know what a check is these days? No, it's more like... Lindsay um, doesn't know what checks are. Don't let your ego don't Venmo. Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
<laughs> your butt stuff that your butt is your butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. I think we nailed it. Yeah. All right. Take it then. Bye. <laughs>